I purchased some of these um, Nokia 5110 uh, LCD displays to use with a PIC microcontroller uh, and using an application where I'm gonna, I want to use coin cell batteries, so the CR2032 battery. Uh, so I needed it to be uh, something that, which was low power to display stuff. Uh, and this first bit of the video, I'm just going just to describe how much power it consumes. So I'm on a 2000 microamp range and it's using about 440 microamps, which is about half a milliamp. Uh, and that's with the display on and the PIC microcontroller running. And the PIC microcontroller isn't uh, sleeping at the minute, but in a second it will go into standby mode. Uh, and when it goes into standby mode, uh, it, the PIC microcontroller will go to sleep and it will put the display into a standby state to go uh, to use for low power. Uh, so that um, th that will be the state at which, so I don't have a on off switch on this device. And I can just leave the battery connected without having to switch the device off and it won't drain the CR2032 coin cell. Um, so what this uh, actual application that I've got, in a previous video I did an LCD clock, so there it's gone in, in standby mode. And you can see it's, it's consuming about 4 microamps, so at 4 microamps um, over a period of probably months I should think a CR2032 battery should last for, for a, a very long time without having to worry about it draining. Uh, but if I wake, wake the device up again, and there it goes up, up to about half a milliamp again. So that's really uh, why I wanted to use these displays. But I wanted to describe also what I found out about these displays because there's a few variations. So I bought, bought a few of these displays and I thought they were all going to be exactly the same. But I bought them from different suppliers. Uh, so if I go on to, just for this, uh, for, for this display that I'm describing here, uh, this one I'm, I'm powering off of um, two AAA batteries for this um, for the purposes of uh, showing the actual current drainage, um, but in the next um, uh, ones that I show, I'll be I'll be mostly uh, driving off of a coin cell. Uh, but so there's this thing uh, where you can set the uh, voltage which drives the LCD display. So the display runs off of three volts, but the actual LCD requires um, the voltage to be uh, pushed up to something like six volts or something like that. Uh, so in the application, I can actually set the contrast, which is which changes how many how much voltage the uh, booster uh, gives. And you see, as I increase cont contrast, it gets darker and darker. And then when it goes back to the first setting, it goes very dim. So I put that um, setting in this application because I, when I was tried the three different displays, they all seem to give slightly different results, and also the display seemed to be like slightly different in, in themselves. So I'll go on to the next display. So this is the second LCD display uh, and I'm actually running this one off of a solar panel uh, with a couple of supercapacitors, um, two 10 uh, farad capacitors and I, I was leaving that charging during the day in the windowsill uh, and they charged up uh, and it runs off of it without any issue um, because it uses so little power and actually in standby mode it hardly drains them at all. But if I go across to the contrast setting on this one, uh, and I go down, and I uh, go into the setting the contrast, as I go across, actually not changing the contrast at all, and I believe that, that it looks like this display um, it has a different kind of driver on it, because it seems to set its own voltage uh, to be uh, a a particular voltage and it, you don't need to set the contrast on this display so I would rate this display a lot better than the last display because you don't have to worry about this contrasting and as the battery drains it keeps a consistent contrast and also if you look at the pixels on the display the pixels on, the, on, the, on this display are slightly bigger uh, and they're, very, they're much uh, clearer um, and they're squarer uh, whereas on the previous display if you look back at that I think they were a bit more round and, um, and, and kind of dotty rather than uh, like this one so actually, if, if you can tell when you buy these displays which one you're getting, it's best to go if you can for one of these. But unfortunately, I've looked at all the ones that I've got and you can't tell because the PCB that they're on, um, sometimes you get one of these uh, um, displays on this PCB, but you can get it on one of the other PCBs as well. So there's no way of really knowing which display you get until you buy one. Um, and I, I don't know how, how you would tell, but it's, it's worthwhile knowing the difference. So this is the last display I'm going to show. Um, if I take off the uh, display, you can see it's running off of a 
coin cell battery. I think it's probably a smaller one than the CR2032. Um, wake it up again. Um, so this one is, is running off with one of those batteries and it's running off it no problem at all. Uh, like I say, it hardly uses any power so it should run off of it for a very long time. Uh, and if I go across, so in this one you can see the pixels again are a bit smaller than the previous um, display. And I think these are pixels are probably very much similar to the first display. Uh, but uh, unlike the first display, this one automatically sets its contrast as well. So it's weird. So sometimes you get the actual display with with the pixels, which are the small pixels, but automatic contrast set in. Sometimes you get them with big pixels with automatic automatic contrast set in, and sometimes you get it with the small pixels, and you have to set the contrast yourself. Uh, and you really would, if you wanted to put into an application, you'd really want to give an option like this, where the user can set the contrast, because as the batteries go flatter, the contrast sort of gets a bit weaker and you want somewhere where they can just like boost up a bit as the as the battery kind of starts to lose its charge. So finally I'm going to go back to the the first device again um, and I'm going to, I've got two batteries here so one's sort of used its charge a bit that one and this one is brand new uh, and I'll show you the difference uh, on the first display where you set the contrast the difference between the contrasts so I'll put the first battery in and wake the device up and if I go across and bring it into display a bit better and go into contrast so you see you can boost the contrast on this one and with the uh, so this is this this slightly discharged battery, and the the characters all look uh, okay and everything, and and uh, there's no issues, and I'll, I'll, and they're very evenly um, sort of set the characters. So if I swap to the new battery, uh and because uh, the i left the contrast being set quite high so uh, i'm going to have to like turn it down for this new battery but if i bring it up to something reasonable actually yeah, let's take it down to the r because it's a very new battery so now if i go across to this display if you can tell, yeah, you see some of the characters are, are slightly uh, less clear than the other characters. And it seems to be that when you put, so on the slightly flat battery, you never got that. Whereas the brand new battery with its voltage higher, it seems to um, seems to cause that. But I'll do one, one last display because I've got another display where you can set the contrast and you don't get this effect between the two batteries. I, th I don't, it may be that this, this display is slightly faulty. Uh, or it may be, again, it's a, a slightly different design of display to the other ones. But I'll, I'll show you that last, last display now. So here's yet another display. Uh, so I've got the uh, well-charged battery and the um, quite discharged battery. I'll show the quite discharged battery on this display first. Uh, and this 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 display is actually very clear um, compared to the other displays. It's it's a nice display. So it go up through the contrast. So this is a mostly discharged battery, but it's a nice clear display. I'll just go across to the um, to this one. So a very consistent display. There's no like faded characters on the discharged. But when we switch to the um, the new battery. So again, very clear. Uh, I'll go for the contrast, but there's no faded characters on that. Not like the last display on on the uh, on the battery. So going through all the contrast settings. Again, yeah, it's quite new. But again, the contrast um, settings are, are different. Again, so you really need the contrast setting in your application because. It can vary from display to display, and it can vary from battery to battery, but 
if I just focus on that. There's no faded characters, it's very clear. It's a very nice display that actually, I've got to quite like that display. But so that's the uh that's like an overview of using these displays in battery powered, low power battery powered um applications. And I wanted to give a, a do a little video which showed the differences because it's really weird the how the displays from one to the other are so different. Um and it's uh important to take that into account if you're gonna make like an application using them.